with Lance Hendrickson. Happy Halloween. Oh, peanut butter, <laughs> and jelly, what's your 20? In the Bannister family's most hair-raising adventure yet. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The dog who saved Halloween. The, the only reason he's in this is connection to Alien series. Right. He's, right. he's all they got, aside from the aliens themselves. Well, that's the interesting thing. I was looking up information on this movie, because I was curious, the first time we watched it, I was trying to remember which came first, this or Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah. And Freddy vs. Jason was 2003, so a year before this, and that movie just made a ton of money, which I think kind of surprised a lot of people. It was a big hit. And why why apparently... does that surprise a lot of people? Everyone yeah. wanted to see Freddy vs. Jason. Ye well, ten years earlier. Ten years earlier, sure. But, uh... But yeah, so apparently at the same time uh, that that movie was being made, Freddy vs. Jason, uh, James Cameron was uh, putting together a script for a fifth Alien movie that Sigourney Weaver was attached to be in, and Ridley Scott was interested in directing. And then, oh no! And then Freddy vs. Jason was a big hit, and oh, 20th Century Fox no. decided that uh, they were going to abandon the James Cameron Ridley Scott movie. <laughs> Slap together, Alien vs. Predator. This movie had a, uh, a two-month shoot and four-month uh, post-production. Wow. Then it was quickly rushed into theaters. That is the most depressing <laughs> thing I've ever heard. Yeah. I went from being ambivalent about this movie, now I hate it. Yeah, I'm just guessing the connection between Freddy vs. Jason coming out and this coming out less than a year later, but there was, before this existed, there was talk of the James Cameron movie. Yeah. Uh, new Alien. I didn't know that. that. Like I was gonna say, if if this came out in 2004, Freddy vs. Jason was 2003. This was probably in production, and you know. Nope. Like, wow. Well, uh, <laughs> so thank you, 20th Century Fox. Although you know what, I'm sure that decision was a creative decision and not a financial one. Well, there, there was an artistic decision. There yeah. was someone who just had this story that they wanted to tell. About, about Alien vs. Predator. Aliens vs. Predators. Apparently there was, they were going to possibly make an Alien vs. Predator before they went and did Alien Resurrection, too. Yeah. There's a wonderful interview with well, Sigourney Weaver talking about that, where she wasn't sure if she wanted to come back to the Alien series, but then she found out that they wanted to come back, because that would be a kind of awful <laughs> Sigourney Weaver. Well, I haven't seen that. Oh, you haven't? Because I heard also that the alien doesn't beat the predator, and I thought, well, fuck that. So that's the reason she pushed for doing Alien Resurrection instead. Yeah. Which, whatever you can say about that movie, it's a little more interesting than this. Yeah, I, I don't mind the the variety of characters because I mean I'm looking at this and you know they show the, the female with the spiky hair. Yeah. And I, I think of aliens and aliens had all those yeah. ver, like Vasquez and yeah. all the all the different like but James Cameron and uh, whoever wrote that script for aliens I don't know was it James Cameron I think, I think it was. Um, he gives he gives them the little touches and yeah. and it, it's done a little. Um, it's, it's done a lot better than this, but you, <laughs> you get to know all those characters much better. I mean, it, it, really, without without um, too much too much information. Yeah. And this, it's like like why does that work and this doesn't? Well, a lot of it can come out of just performances. They, yeah. They can bring subtleties to it, but these are all just bland actors. Yeah. They're like robots. When I was a kid growing up in Italy, you know what they call a moon that big? Hmm. La luna del cacciatore. La luna del cacciatore. Brava. What's that? Hunter's moon. Hunter's moon. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Would we complain though if they if they threw in too many stereotypes? Like we're we're putting together a ragtag team. You know, there's the guy with the cowboy hat. He's got two revolvers. Oh, that would be bad too. That would just be a different type of bad. But but would it work for a movie like a schlock movie like this? I oh. think it would. For I would, the tone of this, yeah. For the tone of a movie like Aliens is, you know, it's still a, a sci-fi action movie, but this is sci-fi action. But I think it's just there's a blandness to all these characters. Yeah. And I would have preferred, you know, a whole, like the crazy this or that. And I, I think whoever wrote this, they were. This is all just filler. This is just what you have to put in the, the prerequisites to make it a movie. 